Got this guy, just put my arm in there. Take your arm absolutely off. Glenn and his arm there. Look at that. That's amazing. This guy actually has just moved a little bit. And he's given us a better shot there. So let's get a still of that one. Another guy here. He's like a uh, real nice stroke. Absolutely. morning from a beautiful Queensland can't believe it it's day 10 and today is Wednesday the 3rd of April 2024 it's a beautiful day come and join us for more adventures here on the Gold Coast not too sure what we're doing at the moment but it's gonna be amazing and we're starting the day off to have been a beautiful day Hardly a cloud in the sky this morning. You can clearly see Stradbrook Island up at the top there. So we're currently in Southport, Queensland. Look at all the beautiful grass areas and picnic areas. Awesome. So we decided to start the day at the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. We're going to see the amazing animals here in Australia. Which one? Okay, so the first thing we've got is the koala habitat. A good day. It's not cheap. Sixty-four dollars ninety-five per adult, and I think it's about thirty-six dollars per child. So not cheap. The train that takes you around. There is a koala hiding in the tree there. Don't know if you can see it on the camera. Okay, so this is the reptiles area. Let's see what we can find. That's a python. A scrub python. It's just chill there. The nocturnal one. A broad-headed snake. Can't quite see him though low light mode on there so hopefully this should be pretty good. Australia has over 900 species of reptiles. How cool is that? The billabies, how cool are these? Really really do love the billabies. And look at that little guy. He's actually saying hello. The billaby is so cute. Got to be one of the cutest animals here in Australia. They're squirrel gliders. The guys call a magnificent tree frog. Magnificent tree frog. It's a spiny tailored mortar. And we've got a black snake there in the corner. I don't know if you can just see him, he's sat hiding away. This guy is actually uh, obviously free to walk around. Let's check him out. Amazing. Wow. So cool. There's a spotted black snake. You can just about see him. 
hiding under the trunk now. And here comes the wonderful train. How cool is that? Not many people on it at the moment. The beautiful flowers. They look absolutely wonderful. Absolutely massive park. So this is towards the lorikeets, which is something they want to do. How beautiful is this? So I think right in front is where hopefully we can feed them. This one's Wild Island. So the feeding of the lorikeets is done about 8 a.m. So we've missed that one. Or it'd be like at 4 p.m. And um, you can see, there we go, oh, he's just jumped down. A few lorikeets in here. Actually, we've got a good shot of a lorikeet there. Let's check out the colours of him. Absolutely amazing. A good shot there of a koala just chilling in the tree. There is quite a few up in the in the trees as well. Yeah. So we're going to get a closer shot using the iPhone on five zoom. How cool was that? So with the iPhone, you can get really up close, and as you can see, he is completely asleep. Probably see there's another one up the tree there, right at the very top. And there's another one actually just relaxing there. This guy actually has just moved a little bit and he's given us a better shot there. So let's get a still of that one. Well, that's a perfect shot. Have a koala. When a koala is born, the joey koala is tiny, weighing less than a gram and about two centimeters long, and it resembles a pink jelly bean. At this stage, they have no fur, eyes are closed, and they have no ears. One back this morning is fast asleep. Just chilling and relaxing. It's an absolute beautiful park. Looks like there's a like a treetop walk up there. Got all the uh, the trees and the gum trees. This park is huge. So these are actually wallabies. Just chilling there with the. Uh, Two birds. Like bearded dragon there. I can see from here there's two. There's there. two up there. And we've got a better shot there. That little guy's just come out. Hopping around. So these are not kangaroos, these are wallabies. This is the dingo habitat. Let's see if we can uh, see any dingoes. It would have been the Tasmanian devil. Obviously when you come to the zoos, are you going to see them? Probably not. Got to be lucky, they're going to be hiding about somewhere. Really enjoying uh, Corumban so far, it's beautiful walkways. And it is huge. So much to see. Got a map but can't really read it, so just going to walk where we need to go. So we're still on Easter holidays and it's quiet I guess. But just look at the beautiful scenery. And it's an absolute gorgeous day. Not a cloud in the sky. Still can't believe how big this park actually is. You need to spend a whole day here. I went taking a picture of another lizard on the boardwalk there. Just completely chilling out. 
And this area is called Billabong Falls. Just look at the foliage, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just simply stunning. Look at all that. All like the figs coming down, is it? It's beautiful. Wow. What an amazing city here, just to have a little picnic and a sandwich. Just a stunning place. So you might not get to see the animals that you want, but just to come here and walk around the gardens is, is beautiful. How old that tree is to grow like that. That's just incredible. So over here is a live bird show. There's just so much to do here, but obviously you need an awful lot of time. And just look at the birds flying there. That's pretty awesome, so the birds are just going to fly in around there. Pretty shy, they're just hiding behind the trees here, the dingo. Here we go, we got a, a good shot, so... That is an Aussie dingo. Imagine meeting that on Fraser Island or in the outback. Could be a little bit on the scary side, I reckon. They're huge. Okay, so there are hundreds and hundreds of fruit bats that were. All hanging down. There is huge spider webs. If you ever glance upwards from the, the path, check out those spiders right above you. This one is a Tasmanian devil. And again, it's just so beautiful around here. The foliage is, is immense. Wow, no clue where we're going. Again, can't follow the map, but dodo bird. Oh, everyone's heard of a dodo bird? The giant guana lived 2.5 million years ago. Four legs and eight plants and small animals. Wow. Imagine meeting that guy. Yeah, this uh, nasty little guy. Looks a bit ferocious. Amazing leaves. The size of that. Megafauna. Well, I hope you're enjoying the video so far here at the Corumban Wildlife Park in the beautiful Gold Coast. This guy, put my arm in there. Take your arm absolutely off. Huge. Glenn in his arm there. Look at that. That was amazing. I can't believe 201 to 182 million years ago. This is the Dilophosaurus. Imagine. Roaming Earth, scary. Look at the teeth on these guys. Glenn coming out of the Extinction Trail. Just check out the sunshine again. Lots of blue skies. What are you standing under there then? Like a water fan cooling me down. So he's under a water fan cooling him down there. It's a hot day today, yeah? Very hot day today. Uh, just had a look now, it's 81 degrees. 81. We had a nice little chill out on a bench there. A little bit of a cool off. Still trying to find the kangaroos. I'm disappointed regarding the rainbow lorikeets 
I was hoping to bring some video to you guys where they landed on his arms and were feeding. Well, that's at 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. this afternoon. So if you want to do that, you need to do your homework really and come a little bit early. But uh, yeah, it's a great place just to come and wander and check the animals out. Hopefully you can see it's so tropical wherever you look. It's an amazing place. Over here is Wild Island, an adventure park for the kids. This must be an amazing place to bring the family. The kids would love it. And of course, me and Glenn are loving it too. This way apparently is kangaroo country. It's somewhere where we haven't, where we haven't walked. So. Yeah, there's tree shop uh, challenges and pretty much everything here. Okay, so this is kangaroo country. Ice creams, if you want ice cream. So that's either an emu or an ostrich. And again, just look at the beautiful trees around here. Wow, it's just so hot now. It's absolutely uh, scorching. Kangaroo outpost. It looks like most of the kangaroos are down here. And here are the Aussie kangaroos. All just sitting out, lazing about. It looks down there, you may be able to, to pat them. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. And check out this little guy. Absolutely fast asleep. He's loving a bit of a tittle there, isn't he? Check out this little guy that I'm with at the moment. He's like in uh, a bit of a stroke. Is, uh, really enjoying a bit of a stroke there. This is definitely Australia, isn't it? Seeing the actual kangaroo. Another guy here. He's like a uh, real nice stroke. Perhaps the limb's going down and. Uh, He's stroking the kangaroo there. How cool is that? Not his head if you don't mind. Hello. Oh, you can head him down the back. All right, yeah. Yeah, not the head. Head's a bit sensitive and if he yeah. out. How cool is that hat? Check that out. Very really. Okay, so it's now into the uh, air conditioning and Checking out the merch. Big thumbs up to the Crumbrin Wildlife Park. Didn't manage really to do what I wanted. I wanted to hold a koala, but would have had to wait until about 12.30 to do that. And that was $50. We didn't see the Rainbow Laura Keats. That was at 8 a.m. or 4 p.m. But the cool thing, touched the Aussie kangaroo. And we saw some uh, amazing other wildlife and beautiful scenery so yeah really really enjoy it now at the world famous yatala Pines here in yatala queen and what have you got <laughs> so yatala land of the flooded plains from the convict timber cutting harvesting cedar and yellow wood to a flourishing township of cane plantations blacksmith pubs and bakeries and on the original gateway to the south coast yatala has seen horse and buggies steam trains and motor vehicles absolutely loved yatala pie as per usual it was uh, fantastic amazing make sure if you're in queensland yatala pies
definitely worth a visit. And it's scorching hot. Okay, we're at Marina Mirage here in Surface Paradise and it's a little bit on the stormy side. So again, this is the vehicle that we've rented and yeah, it drives really, really well. It's from Victoria. So somebody's driven that all the way from Melbourne. But how cool does that look with uh, all the signs? So how cool is that? We're advertising here in Australia. I don't know if we're going to get a storm, but there are some huge spots of rain coming. It's, uh, it's cooled off a lot now. So we will see. The spots of rain are huge now, absolutely bouncing down on me. So I think any minute now, it's going to chuck it down. For you, I'm a celebrity fans. I don't know if they've done it in the last few episodes. Um, but this is where all the stars would walk down here towards the, the helicopters down at the bottom, ready to go into the jungle. Let's check out some of the boats down Today, here. Today I've got my RM Williams hat on. This is my posh hat, absolutely love it. And where better to wear it here in Surface Paradise. Rain is coming on pretty heavy. So I might have to revert to the iPhone now as we uh, head down to the bottom of the pier here. Ship. That one looks as though it's like a party boat. Guessing a lot of people have fun on there, eh? And I don't know if you can see the rain on the water there, but there is a huge storm as you can see there. It might drop some, uh, quite a lot of water in a minute down here. Just imagine the cost of some of these boats. It must be unbelievable. I'm actually using my hat just to shelter the camera. A little bit from the rain there. So just imagine, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. All your famous stars walked all the way down here and jumped on that helicopter, ready for the, uh, the unique show that we all watch in November. Yeah, it was like uh, an enjoy a walk around what here. Was that a floating church? So it looks as though you can probably get married aboard that. That's something really different. That would be really cool, floating out into the water and getting married, eh? The pier here is the heliport. There's a few helicopters in, but nobody really on them today. And I hope you're all enjoying the Queensland videos that we're bringing you. Me and Glenn are absolutely loving it out here and we're also being very well looked after, as always. But yeah, really, really enjoy being around this area. And tomorrow, I can't believe, it's gonna be Thursday. It's gonna be our last day in Australia, because on Friday morning, we are heading back down to Sydney and across to Los Angeles. So we've been in Australia now a week today and I can't believe how fast that week has flown. We've had so much fun. So let me know in the comments, what do you reckon, how many dollars would be that boat? Aki is it? A-K-I, Sandport? Beautiful boat. The storm is actually directly over us and it seems to have grown from that little cloud to an absolute huge cloud. But at the moment, not dropping any rain. But who knows? Actually done quite well this holiday. A little bit of rain in Sydney, a little bit of rain in Los Angeles, hardly anything here in Queensland. So all in all, big thumbs up to the, the weather. I've seen anything like that before. Jet car Australia. They must actually go in the water then or something, eh? 
So over there you've got gondolas that you can actually rent to uh, ride around the harbour in. Look at the beautiful birds in paradise. Stunning shopping centre. Now, I thought there always used to be McDonald's on the corner here. Well, that's uh, just around the corner, not too sure. But check out this shop. Some amazing stuff in the window to buy. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, it is extremely quiet here. It was very quiet last year. A lot of shops are closed. Nothing like what it used to be. Now let me know in the comments, but I'm sure right in front of us here used to be McDonald's. And McDonald's is gone. Check this out. The general store, completely empty. Nails, completely empty. This is such a shame because this used to be really, really busy around here. Beautiful dress shop there. But yeah, it looks as though business has gone really bad here. Right in front of us used to be the Plaza Versace Hotel. And it's now the Imperial Hotel. So it's lost the Versace name completely. It's still starting to rain. I don't know if we're going to get wet in a minute. We're going to soon find out. If this hotel is still as popular with, uh, with it losing that title. And certainly, as you can see, the shopping centre there is pretty quiet. But I believe this area still bustles at night with restaurants. It's a beautiful area to come to. Looking out at all the amazing boats. It's incredible, the storm is actually spreading even more across the sky here. But still not a lot of the rain. At the Very weird to be walking in the rain and I'm actually not getting wet. In England, we'd be getting absolutely soaked by now. This is the front of the Imperial Hotel. Looking as grand as ever. And just look at those amazing boats across there. Fabulous. Rain coming on quite heavy now. So I'm just covering the camera with my hand. But we are getting fabulous uh, video there with the cloud formation. And normally when we walk around here, it's uh, glorious sunshine. Oh well, at least we're having a bit of a cool off. It's not that bad. Right in front of us is SeaWorld, guys. You can probably see the roller coaster there at SeaWorld. I'm getting a bit of a breeze up now. We'll have a look out at the harbour again there. Well, that's SeaWorld helicopters. Those are the actual helicopters that crashed last year on a sandbank. Pretty much round about there somewhere. And Glenn's certainly enjoying his filming in Australia this year. Some of these rooms would be amazing to stay in. Beautiful balconies. And fabulous views. This is the main pool area of the Imperial. And straight ahead is the reception there. And how inviting does that pool look like? Looks amazing. But nobody in the pool. So I don't know how busy that hotel is currently. Well, 
Well, this area, a lot, a lot of memories. These seats down here, and there's actually a fish and chip shop across the road. And many, many times we've sat down on these benches and had fish and chips from across there. Beautiful memories. And the bench is still here. Fish and chips tasted so good. Sitting down there and enjoying them. And that is the chippy right across the road there. Chips, still a good bargain here. 13 bucks from Peter's Fish. Open seven days a week. Just heading around the Imperial form of the Versace Hotel. And this is where we used to park many times, have a little walk around. I like to stay in this side of the hotel with all the palms. Must be really dark in the rooms there. On this side they've actually got no balconies. We've made it to the Imperial Hotel and it started to rain really, really heavy. Well, hopefully we're just under a bit of a cover here, it will shelter us. So they've still got the Rolls Royces outside. Different that looks, the Imperial Hotel, Gold Coast. And we just made it in before this huge downpour. So I hope you enjoyed walking around the Marina Mirage today. And uh, yeah, it looks as though we're going to get a lot of rain for the next sort of half an hour. So pretty much that is it for day 10. We've had fun. What have we done today then? We've been the uh, wildlife centre, we've been Yatla Pies, and we've just been around this amazing area here in uh, Surfers. And it's now chucking it down the rain, but how hot is it? Really hot, get the air conditioning on. Really, really warm. And boiling. So I hope you've enjoyed day 10 as much as we have. I really enjoyed stroking the kangaroos. My aim was certainly to get a picture with a koala, but obviously that would have taken quite a while and 50 bucks. And we didn't get to see the rainbow lorikeets. Again, if you want to see them, eight o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the afternoon. So thanks for watching today. Hope you've enjoyed. Join us tomorrow for day 11. We are heading up to Brisbane and we're going to capture some areas in Brisbane. It's going to be our last day in Australia. So, yeah, we will uh, see you then. Goodbye see you from Southport.